Good morning, dear friends. This is Chef De La Rosa connecting with you again. Now, this recipe right here in this boxing bowl is one for my special fruit bread. You can see that the flour here has a high amount of margarine, natural fruits, which have been blended and equally the essence has been mixed with the flour. And you can equally see a good dose of milk which has been poured in and this goes up to make the rich blend that is necessary to prepare my very special fruit bread. It's unique and different from the normal fruit breads you'll find in most bakeries because the fruit concentration here is heavy, the margarine concentration is heavy and equally the pure milk, not milk concentrate, natural milk concentration is equally very heavy. So all this goes together to make the dough for the special bread. And of course, I'm using a very special yeast, very special blend, brand of yeast, which I had uh, gotten from France. So let's keep it going and see how it turns out. Thank you for watching my starting video for this morning. Now that I am done with molding all the balls for the special loaf, I will begin to transfer them into baking pans and oiled, oiled baking pans to be more precise so that they can rest for two hours to prove. Then after that, I will transfer into a heated oven so that they can bake until they are done. Now that all the loaf balls for the fruit bread have been neatly arranged in different baking pans. So I'm now going to cover this up and let it to rest for two hours so that it can prove. In the period of that two hours, the dough is going to increase in size. The yeast will take its effect, its effect of fermentation and the full flavors of the gluten and all the ingredients will be fully released into the dough. So let's get that resting for two hours while I go about to do other things. Thank you for watching the video to this point. This is Chef De La Rosa. Here in this mixing bowl is a dough which I have well blended and kneaded to achieve a beautiful, stretchy, well textured dough. Now this dough is going to be used to make my very special donuts. Of course then I'm going to like put them in this oil container and allow it to rest for one hour before I begin to cut out the dough profiles. Thank you. Well ladies and gentlemen this is how the dough for the fruit bread look like after resting for two hours. So I'm now going to proceed to bake them in a preheated oven at 175 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes until they are well cooked. Thank you very much for watching. This is Chef De La Rosa of De La Rosa Associates connecting with you. This is how my dough for the doughnuts looks after about 1 hour 20 minutes. So I'm now going to deflect the air from the dough and begin to cut out the dough profiles. Good. This is well proved, so I can commence the cutting operation immediately. As part of my pastry production for today, I am equally doing some egg rolls. Now these are the eggs I have boiled previously. I have peeled up the shells, patted them dry a little so that they can be a bit dry on the surface. And these are profiles that I have cut out out of a dough which I had prepared earlier and allowed to rest with which I am going to wrap the eggs to make the egg rolls. So let me proceed to do that and when this is done I will fry this together with the doughnut profiles which are already resting and will soon be ready for frying. So stay tuned. This is Chef De La Rosa. I am done with wrapping up the egg rolls so you can see the dough all wrapped up around the eggs to form the egg rolls. 
Now, I want to make a very important note concerning egg roll because sometimes I see some pastry chef or some pastry shops in which uh, yeast is used in mixing the dough for making the wrappings for the egg rolls. Now, I find this to be a strange recipe because traditionally the wrappings for egg rolls are made with baking powder. Yes, baking powder, not yeast. So, obviously, if you're trying to create a self-raising flour, you just know that you just have to add your baking powder to it. And, of course, you have a textured dough that is light, having some substance, and which you can use to wrap around your egg rolls after mixing all other ingredients into it. It comes out neat with a beautiful skin. You try when you try to press the egg rolls after they are cooked. The dough wrapping around the eggs don't break easily. So this is the correct recipe for egg rolls. You use the baking powder, or what you call the baking soda, and not baker's dry yeast. Thank you, I'm about to commence frying. Thanks for watching till this point. This is Chef Dolorosa. Our bread loaves are baked, ready, and in fact they are still cooling down, but they have cooled down considerably. You can see the beautiful texture of how the bread loaves for the fruit bread turned out. And of course you can see that the dough profiles for the donuts, the pillow donuts, are ready for frying. This is one tray here. This is another array of donut profiles. You can see that. And this is a top part covered up here still proven but almost ready which i will fry last hello i am chef de la rosa of de la rosa associates i am done i'm done with the donut frying for today so let's just have a look at the donuts and see how they turned out considering the earlier observations i made concerning the dough at the start of preparation for today's recipe let's just watch it Perfectly fried donuts. Chef De La Rosa speaking with you. Beautifully fried donuts. Good texture, good proving, good shape, and of course, good taste. Ladies and gentlemen, finally our pastries are ready. You can see the lovely donuts, beautiful texture. You can see the egg rolls in front, well cooked to the center. And of course you can see the lovely fruit bread, beautifully baked to be enjoyed. Thank you for following me on this video. This is Chef De La Rosa, signing out. Bon appetit!